what we have here. We have the first alert. Check out my channel. I've done a bunch of videos on this first alert smoke detectors, some of the problems I've had. Uh, first alert, model C, as in Charles, 0710 carbon monoxide detector with 10-year battery and digital temperature display. Okay, why did I buy this? I bought this because I've got this thing that just died on me after seven years. I think these things are supposed to be, yeah, you can see the model number over there. I think this one lasted seven years. This says 10. Uh, this sat on the wall for many, many years. I bought it at Costco. This one I bought on Amazon. I'll leave an affiliate link in the video description along with the uh, donation link. So, you know, subscribe and all that cool stuff. So I know you're supposed to have these low down on the ground for uh, detecting CO2 from your gas dryer or your heater. Uh, I had this higher up on the wall. I figure it's going to work. It went off. It started chirping a couple weeks ago. I made a video on if this thing starts chirping, what do you do? Well, what you end up doing is make sure you don't take that little hook off that they have taped over here because you need to put it in there and I put it in there and it didn't shut off even though it's supposed to shut off a little chirping so I went in there and I broke up uh, stuck something in there and flipped the switch way back there and turned off the unit so this thing uh, served me well for whatever five seven however many years and I went online and bought this one which I'm going to install now so you're saying well why are you making a review of this if you haven't tested it I made a review of this. You can't really test it because by the time that you're testing it, you're in big trouble. But you should have these things. They're not that expensive. Uh, your life is worth, worth the money. Put one of these in your house. The nice thing for me is that I always have the display on the temperature so I knew what uh, the temperature was in the room along with my other five thermometers and all of them were off. So I had no idea what the real temperature was but get one of these things you want to, I would not buy the C, the carbon monoxide and smoke detector units. I know they've perfected them, but a lot of those units many, many years ago used to false trigger. Let's face it, smoke alarms false trigger all the time. So you mix a, a smoke alarm that false triggers or has battery problems with a carbon monoxide thing and you're just asking for trouble. This thing never false triggered, never went off until the day that it told me, replace it. The biggest complaint you're going to find online I guess I can't turn this over. Well, I can, but it's not out of the package yet. Biggest complaint you're going to hear, because a lot of people are like me. Well, not like me, but kind of like me. They've got, they had this model. What is the, uh, the model? C01210. They had this model, and they went out and bought this. And people were not happy. Why? Because the brilliant people at First Alert decided to install the mounting clips on the new one about an eighth or a sixteenth of an inch apart. So you cannot use the mounting holes that you used with this thing. And you remember you drilled it, you made a little hole in the wall and then you put the uh, anchor in there and you put the screws in there and you slide that thing over the screws. Thank you First Alert for making this replacement an absolute nightmare because you're going to have to go and use the screws and the anchors that are in there. And the, the thing is, it's so close, the spacing is so close that you cannot use one, and dr one hole and drill another because it's going to bang into, you, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you shouldn't even be messing with this. So uh, you're going to have to mount this a little bit higher or a little bit lower and get your mounting holes. I'm assuming you're going to have this little clip on there. Do not throw it away. And if you run into the problem with your old one and you can't shut it off, you flip the switch, get something into there, and turn this unit off. Uh, model C0710, definitely something everybody should have in their house if you have a gas stove, a gas heater, a gas, um, uh, a gas heater, a gas dryer, a gas anything. If you have gas, you want to buy this thing. So uh, I guess that's it. I'm not going to ramble too much more. Temperature and peak CO levels, no low battery chirps or battery replacements, no install needed, easy tabletop placement. 
interesting so you don't have to use the screws and the thing you could just keep this put this on your dining room table and when you invite your data over she'll say oh so you've got your co2 monitor on your table i think i need to leave that is my review of the first alert thanks for watching stay well have a happy new year take care of yourself people stay well